Good morning. Let me put you down on here. We are in the car, as you can see. Hopefully you can see me. Fingers crossed. That looks a good angle. Maybe a bit slanted. Bear with me, guys. Um, it is the day after. It is the day after the half marathon attempt. And we are um, about to go and see Chris um, for uh, this injury. Chris is a legend. He had a cancellation this morning at 9 o'clock, so he's been able to slot me in there nicely. So, uh, a quick update on that. <coughs> I feel fine today. Um, my left glute was actually what Okay, good injury news from Chris, but before I tell you what that was, we're here at James's work, we're going to go and gate crash James's office, because it's only James in there. We're going to go and have a quick coffee, talk about yesterday, because I want to I want to talk to him a little bit more about why he got bored yesterday. I watched his video about three times, it cracks me up every time I watch it, just his honesty. So we'll go and just have a quick coffee and catch up before I shoot off to work, and I will update you then. Let's go and find James. Right, so after our little chin wagon catch up, 
as I said, I've been watching his video a few times, and we were talking about it this morning. How are you feeling this morning about yesterday? No different. No. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. We were talking last night, weren't we, about what we're going to do to make up for it. And whilst I was uh, praised for my candid honesty yesterday by Very a few subscribers, so. <laughs> um, but do you know what? There's no point in fooling yourself. If you, if, if, if you make up excuses, <coughs> glute pain, then um, <laughs> that's not your joke, mate. If you make up excuses, then you, you really can't hurt. you can't be honest with yourself, can you? So you can't grow, and you can't you know if you. So uh, yeah, if you didn't see James' video, as I said before, link is in the description. He was very honest. He did get to four miles and just call no, 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 it no. four point three. Four point three. Oh, sorry, I did the point three. He was very honest, and he said, I'm just calling it, I'm bored, I can't do it. And to be fair to him, as he just said to me then, he got to mile one, and as we exchanged each other, as we were turning at mile one, he just looked at me and went, I'm so bored. And just every mile that we went, he was like, I'm just so bored. And I think, as you said, it got to the point where I think if it was Newport, it would have been different, but we'd done 60 weeks training, we'd had this eye on this race, the race got cancelled, so we were already a bit deflated. Then the snow came and then the possibility of us running our own race wasn't going to happen so then it was even more disappointing but then we went out there and it was clear enough mm. but then I think when we got out there the possibility and probably the, the, the comedy side of my video <laughs> showed you that we were trying to make the best of a bad situation we looking up and down that serious. road no <laughs> looking up and down that road seeing where we were going to be running 13 times it was very demoralizing and um, I don't think it puts you in the best headspace we gave it a good crack and it didn't pay off, but yeah. It is what it is. Well, we, I, we live another day, we live for a fight for another day. With the, the difficult thing now is Newport, I don't think, are going to be able to rearrange the race for this year. No. Uh, if they do, it will be a case of um, seeing how things are at the time. But I reckon it'll be later in the year. It's got to be. I think there's an awful lot to organise, so it's not just a case of them saying this is the new date. It's there's much more to it. So they've got to organise the road closures, police, ambulance service, they've got to organise volunteers, get the course ready, that sort of thing. So it all depends on how yeah. how busy they are and how quickly they can get things sorted out. But for a lot of people now, it's the wrong season. So it's turning into marathon season, so it's going to be really tricky for them to be able to find a date that suits. They can't do it in April, they can't do it in April. And March, if they do squeeze it in March, it'd be awesome. But for marathon runners, the more weeks that that progresses on, if it's towards the end of March, it'd be a nightmare for them. Yeah. Um, in which case you're into May, June, July, and then they might as well just postpone it until March. So yeah. anyway, we've been talking and we've been trying, both of us obviously keen to run longer distance later this year or at some point, and we've both been looking at um, various ultra races because we want to, I want to burst my ultra cherry, you kind of did. Um, it was meant to be a full ultra and it ended up they marked the course short and he only ran 26.4 miles so <laughs> he feels a bit cheated and every ultra that we look at is just either on a wrong date or one of us is away so I think what we're going to do is do our own 50k around the forest which would be epic because the forest is an incredible place to run anyway we've got so many loops yeah. and we can make one massive loop all the way around the forest and to be honest with you i think that will be as good as any ultra we could do and i think if we made it at 50k we'd feel like that's about 33 miles isn't it it's about 30. yeah, as far as, yeah so we 50K. we would we would feel like we were proper ultra runners and if we did that <laughs> so we are also at the moment trying to put together a date and time what would be amazing if any of you local runners are out there, mm -hmm. if you wanted to join us on either certain sections or for the whole thing, uh, and just make it a bit of fun, just a good laugh. I, you know, we haven't talked about it in that much detail yet. It's very embryotic at this stage, but we would like to try and get out there and do 50k and, and, and just smash an ultra. Smash an ultra. So we know what to expect when we book an official ultra. Because I think 50k is a good starting point, isn't it? Yeah, we can plan a route, 50k. Yeah, three or four thousand feet stations. elevation. Who needs volunteers? We, we don't need sort volunteers. Our, we can sort out stations. <laughs> find a cone, rob a cone, rob a cone from the industrial estate, take a cone out into the forest, we'll drop some cones off at various points, put water bottles on, job done. Yeah, just need to get some pork pie. Oh, no, yeah. Not for you, you don't. You won't do pork pies. No, you? you can have some pork pies. I know, I'll have some mangoes. You love mango? We can get you some watermelon. Hey. Get you some big bags of bugles. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
crisps, <laughs> crisps, flat coke and all yeah. of that stuff. So anyway, it's, in, it's very embryotic at the moment, but hopefully over the next few weeks, details will emerge. And if there are any local runners okay. interested in joining us for certain sections, the company, that will be awesome. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna leave James to it now. I've taken up enough of his time this morning. Let's go and talk about my injury, because I've told James, I'll tell you. It's all good news though, guys, so yeah, let's go. Right guys, so it was my ankles that were the problem. Um, Weirdly enough, I went there and uh, obviously I messaged him, I told him what was up, told him it was my left glute that I had the pain in. Um, went back, this, uh, woke up this morning and it was kind of knacking in just above the right side of my hip. He looked at me, he assessed me, he did all his muscle testing and he looked at my feet and my ankles and he went, your ankles are very rigid. And he did some testing and he went, did you sprain your ankle? And I said, no. Uh, and kept testing and he went, it's your ankles, mate. And I was like, what? It's, that's really weird. And anyway, as you saw in the video, he put me up on his bed and uh, did some tests of the ankles. And my word, it was excruciatingly painful. I didn't even realise. Um, and the only thing I can think that happened was that on my one at the turn point, um, I came around the corner, a car came around. So I obviously jumped into the snow to the side. And as I jumped in, I slipped. And although it wasn't painful, I did, I guess, feel my ankles kind of, they were a bit wobbly. Um, and, and I didn't think anything of it. Slipped and slided out of there, carried on back the other way. And on mile three, I had to jump in the other side of the road onto my other ankle. Um, a similar thing happened. As I jumped in on that side, I kind of landed half on the kerb, half on the road through the snow. So my ankle kind of rocked a little bit. Now, as I said, I didn't think anything of it at the time because it didn't hurt. It felt weird, but it didn't hurt. Um, but what that had done is my ankles just locked up, properly locked up, and he found some real sore spots in my calves, um, and that just basically sent the whole chain into uh, into meltdown. My whole muscle, my glute just <clears throat> had nothing. But thankfully, he fixed that this morning for me, fixed my ankles, um, loosened them all off, got them working, got some more ex mobility exercises to do for those now. Um, just to get the uh, get get the range of motion through the ankles again, because they, as I said, completely seized, and hopefully we should be back running again on Wednesday. I asked him when he said he said, "Oh, don't run for a day tomorrow night at the latest, which would be Tuesday night." Um, but I thought, no, there's no point. We'll wait till Wednesday. We'll let the snow melt again a little bit more, and we'll just go out for a nice easy run on Wednesday. So. I guess a sigh of relief, all good news, nothing major, uh, major at the time, hopefully nothing major long term. Touch wood, because you're on a wooden bookcase, we will uh, see what happens on Wednesday, but all being well, we should be able to get out and run. So there's your injury update guys. Again, I can't express how much all the comments that you guys leave mean to me. There was like 60 comments on my video, there's 60 in total including my replies as of now. Um, which is amazing. I appreciate each and every comment that you leave um, and they were all so supportive. So thank you so much. I hope this is good news for you as well as me. I'm delighted that hopefully this shouldn't interrupt training too much. So what's going to happen now then guys is I'll easy run probably Wednesday uh, and Thursday or Wednesday and Friday and then go out for a, a longer run on Saturday all being well. Um, and if all is well and that's held up, then obviously the week after is the Forest Scene Half Marathon. So what we'll do is we'll get back to our usual schedule next week, take it easy this week, and build into it, do a nice easy run on Monday. Tuesday, we'll just go out on the trails and do two minutes on, one minutes off, and just do a few of those, maybe 10, 12 of those. Um, just a nice light workout to do on the trails, take that at whatever pace I feel comfortable. Easy run on Thursday, race on Sunday. After that, we will kick into some more longer distance training, shall we say. That's a bit of a sneak peek into what's coming up. So stay tuned later this week for a race announcement. Yeah, that's all I've got for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you again so much for your support. Here's a positive injury update. Obviously, fingers crossed, we won't know fully until Wednesday until we've run. Um, 
follow me on Strava if you're on Strava. Links are in the description below along with all my other social media platforms. You'll see how we do get on. I'll put a little update on there as well. And a video will be out later this week with more information. I've got so many videos I need to do, guys. Hold me accountable. I need to do a testimonial for Greg, uh, who is the High Altitude Training Institute um, uh, business that wrote the plan that I was on because his plan is phenomenal. Uh, I've got this race announcement video. I've got a live stream on Wednesday that I'm going to do. And actually, I lie, two race announcements, two race announcements. Like I said with you a minute ago with James, we're thinking of doing a 50k. After I turn the camera off, we've actually nailed a date, so I'll let you in on that. So anyway, enough offering from me. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for weekly con running content. I will see you next time. Take care.